We know that there are new details out about what happened. And last Friday at about 2 a.m., a, a guy by the name of David Wayne DePoppy broke into the Pelosi San Francisco home. Many of you are probably already familiar with this story. We just want to give you an update. It was terrible what happened to Mr. Pelosi, and this should not happen to anyone anywhere, but especially in their home. So he shouted, uh, the man when he came in, whereas Nancy, obviously the speaker was his target. This was indeed a targeted attack. San Francisco police gave more details. Let's take a look at those details with the attacker in the house. Police say Paul Pelosi was able to make an open line 911 call around 2 a.m. on Friday. The dispatcher could hear what sounded like someone being threatened in the background and sent a high priority alert to law enforcement. When police arrived on the scene, they saw signs of forced entry, including broken glass. Our officers observed Mr. Pelosi and the suspect both holding a hammer. The suspect pulled the hammer away from Mr. Pelosi and violently assaulted him with it. And that's coming from San Francisco Police Chief William Scott. A 42 year old Wayne the Poppy is now facing the following charges. Let's take a look at those charges. Attempted homicide, assault with a deadly weapon, aggravated burglary with serious bodily injury, threatening a public official or family member, elder abuse, and also burglary. And that report is coming from the Hill. We also have learned a lot about David the Poppy. The Poppy is a French conspiracy theorist, and he fought, he fell for online disinformation. And we know a lot of that is going on. Unfortunately, in this day and age, social media and the World Wide Web is both a blessing and sometimes it can be a curse when people who are susceptible to these kinds of misinformation and disinformation are triggered. So this is David the Poppy appears to have made racist remarks, often rambling posts online, including some that question the results of the 2020 election. He defended Donald Trump, uh, echoed QAnon conspiracy theories. On online posts under the poppy's name, repeated false claims about COVID vaccinations or vaccines, questioned whether climate change is real and displayed an illustration of a zombified Hillary Clinton eating human flesh. Yeah, so political violence in this form is absolutely never acceptable and none of us should cheer this on. Whether or not we agree with someone from a political lens or view or ideology, what happened to Paul Pelosi was wrong. And some right wingers, which is of no surprise, really took to Twitter and amped this up even more if you can believe that. Let's take a look at what Donald Trump Junior put out. Got my Paul Pelosi Halloween costume ready. Yeah, he did that. This is coming from Donald Trump Jr., so we shouldn't be that surprised. And then we have Clay Higgins, a member of the US House of Representatives Homeland Security Committee. He tweeted this and then he deleted it. But as we know, that footprint on Twitter is real. Clay Higgins. That moment you realize the nudist hippie male prostitute LSD guy was the reason your husband didn't make it to your fundraiser. What in the unholy hell? So yeah, this is your one of your members of Congress. Jessica, any thoughts about this story? Yeah, it's just crazy that we're at a point in time where people can be so emboldened by conspiracy theories, especially as you and I know the truth about what goes on in this country is infuriating. And it's fake stuff that is what gets people so angry that they're motivated to take some kind of action in this country. Like I think everybody would be in the streets if they knew what was really going on in the country, but instead they're mad at fake stuff like QAnon. And it's really scary that they're willing to commit acts of violence off of stuff that is not real. Yeah, it, it is. And this is serious because it could be anyone. You know, A lot of people disagree with me, may disagree with you. And, and that's why we're highlighting this story. At a certain point, it can't be about where someone is on the political spectrum. This is about whether it's right or wrong for someone to invade somebody's home and viciously attack them. Yeah, absolutely, it is wrong. Certainly I've had you know threats and, and I know other elected officials who have. I've been on list of people who uh, have not had the best intentions. So I 
thank God almighty, no violence has happened, but anybody could fall victim to this. So say again, whether it's coming from the right or the left or the middle, it doesn't matter. These kinds of acts are not appropriate, they just are not. And you're right, Jessica, the point that you made, there's so much to be mad about and up in arms about to take to the streets about, but you do not, absolutely do not put your hands on somebody else. This is very sad. So glad the police officers have the person in custody. And let's hope that our discourse does not continue to devolve into this type of behavior.